he's just so lovable. I've also been watching, I've been watching, sorry, I've also been watching Star Trek with my husband and we love it. We're watching kind of the newer one. I don't even know. We're like, it says we're on season three. I don't even know what that means, but we're watching the one where the lead is um, a black woman, which is really, really nice. I kind of like sci-fi, but I always have like a love and hate relationship with I always have a love-hate relationship with sci-fi stuff because I don't like alien stuff too much so I just need to take it like with a grain of salt, you know, just a little bit here and there but I like it, like, 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 like it very much so, I've been watching that and we just keep on laughing let me know if you guys have forgotten a name, I think her name is Shantae but if you guys have watched that, don't you find it acting just a little bit too dramatic just a little bit, like everything else is fine I feel like everything else is fine but then sometimes I find the facial expression like I feel like sometimes she's too dramatic like she gives me the same facial expression for everything which is crazy because I think I just like a certain acting style which can be very boring like for example Henry Cavill is very like muted his acting style is minimal expressions just mm, mm, mm. but it's so perfect especially in The Witcher I love him in The Witcher I love those silly wigs they wear and I also love the fight scenes in The Witcher. Um, it's really like what I've mostly watched. I also watched, my god, I've forgotten the name of it, the show about like this gay guy who's like working in fashion. It came out on Netflix. I binge watched it. That I watched that so fast. I was done with it. And I thought I was going to watch Survival of the Thickest, but I kind of didn't get into it. So it just kind of died a natural death. Um, what else have I been watching? I think that's mainly it. Tried to watch the Kardashians. Uh, you know, I had an opinion on the whole Courtney and Kim, like back and forth that they had. I just think those guys are all trying to be individuals and they're so sick and tired of being like sisters. I just think that ultimately. Sorry, excuse me, I just need to sneeze. <laughs> I just think ultimately Kylie and Kendall have a better relationship as sisters than the other sisters they have together like Chloe, Kim and Courtney. Um, it's very clear that Kylie and Kendall respect their differences and respect this is this person's thing and they'll never step in even if they wanted to. It's very clear they're just obviously never trying to step into this lane and I honestly think Kim is a lot. I think that earlier in the Kim used to be like, don't do that, this is my thing, don't do that, this is my thing, but then, Chelsea, come on now, like, Kim literally did a makeup company after Kylie did a makeup company, and I get it, she's got a relationship with these guys, or whatever, it's so, it just seems so funny, because it feels like, between Kim and Courtney, they both always flip-flop what they say. One time Kim is like, don't imitate me, don't copy me, don't do what I do. And then the other time, she's like, it's not that big a deal. Because they have a, if it's good for me, then it's good. If it's not good for you, then it's not good attitude. They should just accept it and then stop wasting our time. I was going to watch the show, but then now I'm not interested because I'm not interested in this silly made up feud for TV. Like, nobody cares. Go get the money, girls. That's all that matters. 
just 